Akativa could have won the Junior World Championship and become an adult in the new season. But she is chronically unlucky. Will she wait for her finest hour? One of the most talented students of Eteri Tutbirds, Sofia Akativa, suffers from the vicissitudes of fate. Constant cancellations of international starts, and now the suspension of Russian athletes, prevent her from proving herself and taking titles at the junior level. But it is even more unfair that a young figure skater has to wait three more years to become an adult because of an unsuccessful date of birth. Anything can happen for such a long time, and it's not a fact that Sonia will keep her ringing form and avoid injury. Tutbridge is sounding the alarm. Sonia is nobody in the world of big sports, and time is playing against her. Sofia Akativa first loudly declared herself at the age of 10 when she participated in the show Ice Age. Children. Even then, experts noted her great potential and predicted a successful career for her. After the project, Sofia really didn't get lost, she regularly took awards at children's starts and became one of the main favorites in the juniors. It was obvious that a Terry Tutbirds was growing another star. However, this time the young star is desperately prevented from flaring up by various circumstances. Being the record holder for points scored in the free and in the sum of both programs among juniors, Sofia does not have any international titles by the age of 15. Akat Eva's only foreign starts were two junior Grand Prix stages last season. Everything else is exclusively internal tournaments. It is clear that the International Skating Union, ISU, has cancelled many competitions over the past two years due to the pandemic, and Sonia is only one of many athletes affected by this. And yet her case is special, because, among other things, she was extremely unlucky with the date of birth July 7. If she had been born a week earlier, she could have become an adult next season, as another 15-year-old Tutbird student, Adelia Petrosian, will do. Adelia is only a month older than Sonia, but according to the rules, only skaters who have reached the age of 15 before July 1 of this year can skate at the adult level. More precisely, they could. This year is the last year when there is an opportunity to become an adult at the age of 15. The gradual raising of the age limit will not allow Sonia to do this either in a year or two. Only in 2025, when she turns 18, she will finally be able to say goodbye to her junior career. The scale of the talented figure skater's bad luck is unpleasantly striking. The most annoying thing is that Sonia has long been able to fight on equal terms with adult girls. There are three elements of Ultra C in its content a triple axel, a quadruple sheepskin coat and a quadruple salpow, just like Camila Voliva. How to withstand a strong figure skater for another three years in the juniors is decidedly unclear. Somehow she needs to stay motivated and patiently wait for the long-awaited moment of glory. But will he? You need to take medals and titles here and now, while you are at your peak. And no one knows what will happen tomorrow. Sonia had an excellent chance to win this year's World Junior Championships, but because of the suspension of our athletes, she did not go there. The champion was American Isabola Vito, who is definitely weaker than Sony, which clearly shows the comparison of their scores at the starts. Nevertheless, Levito now has the main junior gold, and Sonia is still, as a Terry Tutbirds honestly and unvarnished said, nobody. The same Sonia Akativa would probably already be a world junior champion. Well, so what? And she's nobody. Without a title, without anything. And we are not promised tomorrow. I need these athletes here and now. We may not have tomorrow, Tutbirds complained in an interview with Tatyana Tarasova. Eteri is not worried for nothing about the fate of a gifted pupil. This summer, Sonia unexpectedly suffered a leg injury at the training camp in Novogorsk. Not because of intense loads or unsuccessful execution of the jump, but because of an accidental collision with Daria Yusachiva on the rollout. For Dasha, it ended well, and for Sonia, it ended with a cut of her leg on the skate of a teammate. The girl had to leave Novogorsk and recover at home. When she returned, she became cautious in training. Tutbirds didn't like it. Although why be surprised? Sonia has nowhere to hurry. She's out, she's taking care of herself. I say, wait, why are you taking care of yourself? Thank God you didn't have a joint, not a ligament, you had a cut. That's it, now come on, Tutbirds told in the story of the first channel. 
But how can I explain to Sonia why she needs to try? It's three whole years before reaching adulthood, and they don't want to let our juniors into international tournaments yet. Competitive practice is especially important for young skaters. But last season, Sonia skated in just four starts. There was nowhere to demonstrate mind-blowing jumps, coupled with excellent sliding. This upsets the girl no less than the coaches. She disappears in training, rolls the programs to perfection, but her successes remain mostly at the crystal skating rink. Daily work does not pay off in any way, the strongest junior is constantly left behind. It would seem that in this difficult situation it is necessary to support Sonia, not to let her lose the incentive to develop. However, our figure skating federation is in no hurry to present it to the general public. So, last season Akativa was not taken to the Russian Championship in Street. Petersburg, where she very much expected to perform after the cancellation of the Grand Prix final. But officials remained adamant, only figure skaters who turned 14 before July 1 of this year can participate in the Russian Championship. And they could have made an exception, as it was at one time with Alyona Kosternaya and Anna Frolova. Later, Sonia did not hide her disappointment. After a short program at the Russian Championship in January, she admitted that she purposefully got in shape for the Grand Prix final in the Russian Championship. It wasn't very hard to prepare, but I was upset when they told me that I wouldn't have competitions in December. I have been thoroughly preparing for them, both for the Russian Championship and for the final of the Junior Grand Prix series. It was a very important competition for me. I was upset, but I continued working, knowing that the Russian Junior Championship would still take place. I wasn't bored, while the adults were preparing for the Russian Championship, I was focused on myself, Sport Express quotes Akatyeva is saying. How unfair it is that some seven days turned out to be fatal for Sonia's sports career. Her talent is blossoming, and she is marinating in training in anticipation of better times. Will she be able to win at least one significant title? There may not be a tomorrow. Can title?